Hello my friends and happy Sunday to you all. First off, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving my first impressions of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, somewhat inspired by the videos I've seen made by Arlo, but this is my own take on it. Um, I Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I've only had for a couple of days, but I've been playing the absolute heck out of this game ever since. And uh, you're probably wondering, um, what do I think of this game? What do I, just some random person on YouTube, think of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Well, let me tell you. First off, this is not a full-on review. I will be doing a review of this game, but probably not until after Christmas. Merry Christmas, by the way, if I don't make another video until then, which hopefully I will. But anyway, what do I think of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? In a word, I think it is magical. In all seriousness, I really, really am enjoying this game thus far. I am having an absolute blast with this game. And just about everything about this game feels like, well, Ultimate, honestly. it The title of the game did not lie. It does feel like the Ultimate Smash Brothers. So, I first played this game Friday night. A couple of my friends came over. I will not be telling you their names in respect for their privacy, obviously. But... Readily apparent, I noticed just how much smoother this game's felt than either Smash Brothers Brawl or Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Just the controls just felt so much smoother and just buttery. Like honestly, perfect. Like the gameplay is as good as it's ever been. Like, and there's just so many unique sort of quality of life changes they made that just add so much to the game and even a few like visual changes that really add to the flair like when you get like a knockout KO move in it like zooms in and makes like a cracking sound like to tell you that you've bested an enemy it's so cool um I'm not the best Smash Brothers player and it took me a few rounds before I actually got a win in but honestly I'm having enough fun with this game that I could see myself really trying to get into this game the way I used to get into Smash Brothers games back when I was in high school and really try to get good at this game. Like, not like tournament style professionally good, but, you know, just good good enough to like really sort of make it a challenge for my friends. And of course, you know, this is one of those games where it's just totally crazy whenever you have more more than two people playing, and even when you have two people playing, like, I've only played with items on so far, I haven't even played with items off, I haven't even done a stage shift, I haven't even unlocked all the characters, there's so many characters in this game, it's absolutely nuts. Um, I haven't even played on all of the stages, but just about all the new stages I've played on, I've absolutely loved, as well as the new characters. There aren't as many brand new stages and characters to this game, but by golly, they sure did focus on quality rather than quantity. And plus, they went back and did a lot of, I think, overall pretty good tweaks to a lot of the characters from the previous games, too, that um, I think really make, make the game all the better for it. The gameplay overall is fantastic. I just don't know what else to say about the core gameplay. It's, it's a very refined and polished Smash Brothers game, and not only much more I can say about it. I do want to talk about some of the characters that I've really enjoyed. So, as far as the newcomer characters that I've absolutely loved, um, I've only played a little bit of the Inkling Boy slash Inkling Girl, so I can't speak too much on that. But the two characters that I absolutely love, if the footage I'm showing you isn't apparent enough, include none other than Simon Belmont and King K. Rule. King K. Rule especially is probably my favorite newcomer character in this game so far, even more so than Ridley. And I've played with Ridley a couple of times, and he's pretty cool, but I haven't quite mastered him. But King K. Rules is, oh my gosh, just, he's so, like, just so fun to play with. Like, his moveset, like, it's taken from all the Donkey Kong games that he's in, you know. He's got, he's got, like, these just absolutely devastating moves, ground pound sort of deal, like, absolutely devastating, um, just epic movesets. And his final smash, when I can actually pull it off, is just hilarious because he, like, knocks you into DK Island and blows it up with his Blastomatic from Donkey Kong 64. 
it's amazing. And Simon Belmont is equally just awesome. Like, finally we have Castlevania in Smash Brothers, and he does not disappoint. He has everything, like, he's got the strut from Super Castlevania 4. He's got, like, the bombs that you throw, and not the bombs, the, uh, he's got the crosses, he's got the axes, the holy water, of course, and, uh, I just love, he's so unique, just having the whip as his main weapon, and he's just, he's not the slowest character, he's not the most fast character either, but he's just such a fun character to play with, and I just absolutely have so much fun with him. Ridley, I have unlocked, and I've only played with a couple times, and I've had fun with Ridley, but he's a little harder than Master, in my opinion, whereas King K. Rool in Simon Belmont, like, King K. Rool took me, like, one game to really get his control get him under control, but when I did, I just have had a blast playing with him since. Same with Simon Belmont. Um, I just have so much fun playing with those characters. And of course, there's also older characters, too, that I think have actually been drastically improved. Like, I think Link this time around. I mean, there's three versions of Link in this game. There's the new Link based off of Breath of the Wild. You have, of course, young Link from Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. And I haven't unlocked him yet, but there's also Toon Link from, well, Wind Waker. But, like, Overall, like, Link's been tweaked tremendously. Like, his moveset is so, like, so much more smooth this time around. And, like, even his animations look so much snappier. I love that they changed his spinal smash. And, yeah, it's a little disappointing that his grab isn't the hook shot anymore, but young Link already kind of has, has that still, so it sort of offsets it. Um, speaking of which, even young Link I've quite enjoyed. Um, all the... All the other characters that I played with, uh, Little Mac, I played with a little bit. He was one of my mains in Smash 4, and he's still good this time around. Uh, I have to think about what I think of him in the future, but I've had a lot of fun with him. I could ramble on all day about the characters, but frankly, I'm more inclined to talk about other things of this game. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the single-player, multiplayer modes. First off, the menus in this game are so, so much better than they were in the last game. Like... The menus in the last game were an absolute mess. This time it's so streamlined, it's so smooth, it's visually appealing, and it's frankly just simply fun to just sift through the menus, honestly. And I have to talk a little bit about all the little improvements they made, even to the basic single-player mode, because the single-player mode this time around I think is probably the most fun I've had with it ever. Single-player classic mode, because all the characters have some, like a different formula for how they go through things like there's different battles and challenges depending on what they do depending on the character that you play with um like at, some of them will be fighting characters that are more fantasy based or more swordsman based others will like have more boxing based characters and there's also bosses at the end and it's amazing like if you play as link you get to fight ganon from ocarina of time if you play as simon or trevor Simon or Richter Belmont, you could fight none other than Dracula, of course, and it's just amazing, and I've had so much more fun with the single player mode than I did last time around. It's a little bit of a bummer that they didn't bring back break the targets, but um, overall it's still really fun. It doesn't really take too long to get through it, I mean it's not like, you know, it's the main focus of the game, but just like having an awesome boss battle to look forward to at the very end is reason enough to play through it, I think. Now, I know what you all want to hear about is none other than the, uh, the single-player campaign, aka the World of Light. So the World of Light is the single-player campaign. Think of it as it's not exactly the subspace emissary, and it's definitely a lot better than the joke of a single-player they had in Smash 4, the uh, Smash Board or whatever the heck that thing was. But Overall, I gotta say, I wasn't too sure when I started it, but it's definitely grown on me, and I've actually been really enjoying it now. Um, it took me a while to just get the hang of the new formula. Some people have sort of called it, like, a sort of a glorified event matches, and I can definitely see that. It's sort of like, it's sort of like a big gauntlet, but what's readily apparent, like, you get one cutscene right at the beginning, and it's a really well done cutscene, although it would have been nice to have more cutscenes more sort of actual story in the game, I won't lie, because otherwise you're just sort of doing random battles after a while. But the cutscene is really well done. Basically, 
a being known as Galim has killed off all the characters and turned them into spirits, and only one survives, and of course that one that survives is none other than the Kirby, Mr. Kerbster, Sakurai's baby. And so, over the course of this, you have to fight different spirits, and oh, eventually unlock and save all the characters, and you can add them to your party, your, uh, your band crew, as it were. And, like, you traverse the map, like, it's a very beautifully drawn map that you traverse. It's, like, very watercolor-esque, and all the fights that you do, they're all pretty different. Like, there's some fights where, like, it's super windy, and you have to look out for that. There's other fights that are more stamina-based, like, trying to take up the stamina from your challenger. There's other fights that are a little bit more simple and basic. Um, and they all... Basically, what the spirits in this mode do, if I can explain it right, is they possess, I guess you could say, the bodies of the fighters, which is a little bit creepy sounding, but bear with me. Basically, they possess the bodies of the fighters, so it's like they're you're fighting a different spirit through the body of the fighter. Yeah, it's a little bit exorcist-ish, but whatever. Um, like for instance, Rob the Robot gets possessed by a guardian, you know those giant octopus robot monsters from Breath of the Wild that are pretty much haunts everyone's dreams? Yeah, you get to fight that, and it's awesome. And there's just so, so much variety, honestly, for the most part, that it's hard to really get bored too fast. Like, it's definitely, again, not the main focus of the game, but the fact that they actually went out and did something ambitious this time around, I thought was very, very good for Sakurai to just add more meat to the game, honestly, and give those of us who um, might not have as much, as many, like, people, not might not have as much time to get together with friends as we once did, to have, have that single-player option. Otherwise, you know, I'm just fighting CPUs over and over again, which I've done a lot of, and that's basically what you're seeing in the footage today. Um... Visually speaking, this game looks beautiful. Like, it's so clean, it's so sharp, it's so colorful. Like, all the stages, even the older stages look really, really great. And the newer stages look good as well. And the whole game just, just pops. And every stage feels different and perfectly reflects the game that it's from, I feel. It's, like, the lighting effects, I feel like, are a lot better this time around, too. And what really stood out to me was, like, Peach's Castle. Like, the Peach's Castle stage this time around, I think, looks gorgeous. And the game runs extremely smoothly. Like, I haven't had noticed any hiccups at all yet playing this game. And even more impressive, of course, is the music. Oh my goodness, the soundtrack in this game is beautiful. Like, just... It is a treat for the ears. Like, this, this probably has more the most extensive music soundtrack possibly of any game ever made and it has songs from all your favorite franchise all my favorite franchises like the legend of zelda and metroid and castlevania super mario brothers of course original pieces from the game itself like the new theme song which is surprisingly catchy and addicting i'm not gonna lie and just the whole game's presentation is just absolutely top-notch, and this is shaping up to be one of the most polished games I've ever played from Nintendo, honestly, just, if not ever. It's just an extremely polished, refined experience, all in all. Even if the game doesn't do a whole lot that's totally new and groundbreaking, it's just so darn refined and just well done that I think this game more than lives up to its name of being the Ultimate Smash Brothers so far. I haven't finished the game yet, but... This is already one of my favorite Smash Brothers games ever made, and I'm already having more fun with this Smash game than I have pl had playing Smash in years. And all I can say to sort of wrap things up is, yeah, um, I, I've really, 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 really enjoyed this game so far, and uh, this is not my final review, but if this, what I've played so far is anything to go by, um... I'd say, yeah, absolutely, this game is definitely a game that is worth a buy. In fact, not only worth a buy, you should buy this game, and I can't wait to hear what everyone else thinks of this game and to play some matches. Um, so I'm just 
that's basically everything, uh, guys. I, uh, I know this, I was sort of going a few different directions with this video, but, I mean, this is just my initial impressions, and I'm just really impressed with what Sakurai and his team were able to do with this game. Uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you subscribe to my channel, and I uh, look forward to my full review for this game sometime after Christmas, hopefully before New Year's. So I'll see you guys later, and uh, take care.